Okay, so what is your name? And my name is Stacy Heisel. I'm the library director here at the Ray County Library. Okay, Stacy. so how long have you worked here? So I've worked here in the library for about four years. And what is the best part of your job? You know, I think the best part of my job is really helping someone um, to just find that, that perfect book or that perfect piece of information that they were hunting for and looking for, um, being able to, to have conversations with them and, and, and hear um, all about their lives and, and what's going on with them. I bet that has led to some interesting conversations, hasn't it? Yes, it has. That's great. And so, let's see. Do you have a favorite book? several favorite books. It's always difficult to pick just one. Um, I would say an all-time favorite of mine is probably Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Ooh, all right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Stacy. so you're going to show us around the library and make it familiar for anybody that hasn't been here or more familiar for those who have. Wide variety of all kinds of fiction books um, for all ages. Um, this area here has a Fiction materials and we have quite a number of them to choose from. Great. Um, so here we have the DVD section. Um, we have a wide variety of movies. Um, they are available for a seven day loan um, and you can check out as many as you would like. Um, a wide range of formats. We have audio books here as well, which we'll get to in just a moment. Um, and we've got uh, just a, a whole range of genres to pick from. And, and here are the audio books. We have audio books for the adult section. Um, we have audio books for kids as well as teens. Um, we have a, a wide selection of various genres available, um, and they will check out for 28 days, just like a book. 28 days, wow. Great. All right. Where are we going next? Go. And here we are at the adult nonfiction section. Um, we have a, a wide range of categories of materials. We have everything from biographies to history to um, how to use technology. So if you need to learn um, you know, how, to, how to use a device or how to use a software application, we have books here for that. We also have books on how to start your own business or books for professional development, um, self-help books. We have um, craft books, cookbooks, just a, a wide range of materials available. That is great. I could have used the um, technology and device one when I first started here, so <laughs> I will remember that for my next question. <laughs> All right, and this is our young adult section. We also have a wide variety of genres available, um, authors on just about every, every area that you can think of in fiction for young adults and teens. So anything they are curious about and want to know, they can find here. Mostly. <laughs> yes. All right. Three. And here we are at the juvenile fiction section. Um, for our juvenile readers, we've got a wide variety um, of materials to choose from. Um, we have some of our, our very popular series, as well as some that are maybe not so popular, um, that, that might just be waiting to, to be someone's next good read. And so by juvenile, you mean children, correct? Yes. Is it for like smaller kids or younger kids? Yes, younger kids. Okay, all right. And here we have the juvenile or children's um, nonfiction section. So here we have a wide range of nonfiction materials. So for nonfiction, we're talking about things that are factual. Um, so like biographies, um, things about animals, um, things about science, math. Reading um, those kind of topics, and here on our display, we've got our summer reading program display up, which is all about the oceans and the animals that live in the ocean. So we've definitely got something for everyone. Making me ready to go on vacation. I love the ocean, and I love sharks. Um, to help those who are learning how to read. 
and we've got all kinds of great authors and great picture books um, from some all-time favorites all the way to new releases. All right, so if they're learning how to read, they can still enjoy the pictures and learn more about, well, turtles and uh, seagull. Is that a seagull? Aw. All right. And squirrels. Who doesn't love squirrels? Okay. Here we have Floyd Larks. Um, so we've got a wide range of Floyd Larks available. And these are our very sturdy books. Um, so the younger children um, are able to, to read without um, the, the book being a little sturdier, a little hardier um, for some of those very youngest um, readers as their parents are reading. Oh, okay. So their parents can read to them, but they're also the books that will withstand little hands. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. And so when you come to the library and want to check out some materials, um, we're going to go through how to do that. So you'll present your, your library materials and your library card to the library staff, and they'll check out your books for you. She's going to pull up your library account on the computer and check out the book to your account and then she'll get you a little receipt to take home with you um, that lets you know when your books are due. Okay. It reminds them when to bring them back then. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. And if you want to get your very own library card, um, you will come into the library with proof of your address so that can be like your photo id and um, if you have one that has your picture and your address on it or it can be a piece of mail that has your name and your address on it to show that you live here in Ray county you'll bring that information with you and then you'll fill out a library card application here at the library and you'll get issued one of these nice shiny library cards all right so then like for like real little kids is it an option for the parents to get get one for them or would it be in i guess in their name the parents name what's their options with that so that's a great question so um it can actually be in the child's name um children of any age are eligible to get a card um the parent will fill out the application and sign it for them great okay thank you mm -hmm. so how do libraries stand out um like how how do they compete and are even maybe better than some of the options that people find online? Yeah, so public libraries have a lot to offer. Um, we have print um, books, we have audio books, um, we have movies that you can physically check out here at the library. We also have a lot of online resources too. So we have ebooks, we have e-audio books, um, we have movies, we also have a, a whole range of online resources and databases that contain factual information um, for just all kinds of, of reasons that, that you might need to use it. Um, for an example, we have a home improvement database, we have a genealogy research database, we have a crafts and hobbies database, we have online classes that you can take to help you um, with your professional career as well. So you have online classes? We do. Wow. And for our online classes, we have Learning Express Library from EBSCO. And so this resource has um, classes for studying for the ACT or the SAT, um, also for um, the HISAT or the GED test. Um, there are all kinds of practice exams that you can take through this resource. You can also do job searches um, with resources that are not available just at a general online search. Um, and it will help you create your resume and your cover letter and give you other preparation courses to help you in your job search. So it's definitely more um, organized and not um, and more specific versus trying to search the internet for something you're not even really 100% sure what you're searching for, right? Yes, yes, it Great. you very specific. Great, okay, all right. Also here in our DVD section, we have a, um, several of our greatest courses series um, on all topics from history topics to learning how to draw, learning how to play a musical instrument, um, learning how to cook, 
Um, there's just a whole range of them available, and they come with a DVD and a booklet, and they can help you as you pursue your goals. So if it's easier to learn while you're reading or to learn while watching, or both, you have both options with this then, correct? Yes, you can either check out a book and learn how to draw that way, or if you prefer, you can also check out a DVD um, and learn how to draw that way. That is great, all right. Okay, so can you tell me how long this library has been here? Yeah, so the library has been in its current location since 2004, um, but Lee County has had a library since 1946. So this is still a fairly new place then. Yes, yes. You guys have really maintained it though. It does. It looks really nice. I would, yeah, I wouldn't guess it was very old, honestly. So great. Okay. And one more question. Yeah. How many books are in the library here? The library has over 50,000 materials on its shelves right now. Wow. Okay. That is good to know. Better than the internet. <laughs> Thank you.